Hello everyone, this is Adam with Trans Youth Channel, and this week we have a fun topic. We're supposed to talk about our favorite non-trans thing about ourselves. Before I get started, I want to make an announcement. We are putting out a survey for you all. Uh, we would love to get your feedback, and it is completely anonymous, no way to trace who you are, and we would really, really appreciate it if you could take it. My favorite non-trans thing about myself is my relationship with the theater. I am an actor. Not an actor, an actor. I started doing theater as a kid, and I wasn't like your typical dramatic, theatrical, show business kid when I was little. I was actually really, really shy, but something about theater just really appealed to me. I think it was the idea, and still is the idea, that I get to be someone else for a little while. I get to be a whole nother person, and all of these inhibitions that I had and still have, I don't worry about them because I'm not me anymore, I'm this other person. And that was really, really intriguing and wonderful for me to experience as a kid. So I did theater all through middle school and high school, and here's some pictures of little me doing theater. This is me in Babes in Toyland. I'm on the right. I have a goatee. And uh, in Treasure Island, I'm there on the far left. And this is me playing the Cowardly Lion in Oz. I did the makeup myself. Uh, that's me playing Gollum in The Hobbit. That was really fun. And I even played Santa when I was in high school. That was weird. Uh, these are more recent. This is from Cabaret. I got to play a drag king. And this is Bear, a pop opera. And more from Bear, that's set in a Catholic high school. And most recently, I was in Twelfth Night playing Sebastian. I took about a four-year break, but I just recently got back into it uh, last year. Last year, I did a few shows, and I'm doing more shows this year. Theater, for me, is still sort of a form of escape. Uh, less so now that I am able to express my gender. Still, for me, it's a really cool way to experience things that I haven't experienced in life. In theater, the stakes can be really, really high, which makes it exciting and it makes the emotions real and it just, everything is so real in that moment. But it's a safe space because even though the stakes are high in the moment, it's still acting and there's still that, you know, when the scene's over, or when the show's over, the show's over. You're not, you don't have to be in that situation, in that position for forever. It's not your life. It's someone else's life that you're stepping into for a few hours. And that's, that's the draw for me, still, is to, um, I'm sort of a, an emotion junkie, <laughs> if that makes sense. I like to get really deep down and personal and real with emotions, but it's hard to do that sometimes in real life because, you know, other people probably don't want to do that as much. And uh, the stakes are high and the situations are real and it, it is your life. And so there are things that, it, that are probably not the best thing for you to do in your life, uh, but that produce these emotions. And so in theater, I can take these situations that characters are in and I can experience them in a very real way, but at the end of the day, it's not my life, and it, the consequences aren't consequences that I have to live with for the rest of my life. And so that's what makes it a form of escape for me. I'm at a point right now where I'm able to play like the young, sort of late teenage, early young adult male roles, which is great, uh, because those were the roles that I always wanted to play. So, uh, I'm playing a mute right now, uh, which is sort of not gendered. But uh, my next show, I'm gonna be playing Prince John uh, in The Lion in Winter. And so he's just like this 15 year old, 16 year old kid who's spoiled rotten and, uh, and just really fun to play. So I'm excited about that. That's me when I am not 
uh, in my advocacy role, I am on stage or behind the stage or in the sound booth making magic. Theater is magic. My question for you is, who are you? Who are you? I want to know. Tell me. Tell me who you are and what you love to do and what makes you unique in all the world. Have a wonderful week. Uh, hope you enjoy this topic and please take our survey. would love to have your feedback. All right. Goodbye. This week we're talking about fashion. So first off, binding. Um, if you're going to bind, buy a binder or use a, use a sports bra, a double layer sports bras. Um, please don't use ace bandages. Please, please, please never use ace bandages.